Hi, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm getting a little bit hungry for one of my favorite dishes. This is rice curry with chicken. But in the good tradition of camping preparations, today I'm going to use freeze dried chicken. Now, this is like cardboard freeze dried, not a drop of water or liquids in them. They have been on my desk for one year actually. I think it's the 26th of June and this video is made the 19th of June but the 26th of June this one was produced last year 2019 and it's been on my desk at 25 to 35 degrees Celsius obviously in a sealed uh, mylar bag but it has been there for so long without freezer without refrigeration without anything and now we're going to use it for our curry chicken rice dish so Let's get that hydrated first. That will take us about 30 minutes, 45 minutes, because I'll chop this up in small pieces to make it easier to hydrate. All right? Just start by cutting these. As you can see, they crumble because it's so dry. Make it easier to hydrate it. And let's just get the whole lot in the bag here. There you are. And then we'll just add a little bit of water. And if you're using it with freeze dried chicken, which you probably are not then you can just add as much water as you feel like just make sure that it is good and covered because the chicken will only absorb exactly the amount of liquid that it needs to be rehydrated so we'll just let this be let it hydrate for half an hour 40 minutes and then I'll come back to you if you're using regular chicken obviously you can just go ahead and make the dish so be back in a jiffy all right, now this has been soaking in water for about 40 minutes. We just gotta pour the water off. <clears throat> and there you got it, fresh chicken and uh, it feels quite hydrated now. You can see it's also nice and pink. And we also got proper camping weather right now. I don't know if you can hear it on the camera, but the wind is blowing up, which is probably going to be, mean we're gonna have a little bit of rain. That's fantastic cozy. Anyway, quickly, what we're gonna use for this curry dish, it is we're gonna use some uh, diced peeled potatoes, uh, sorry, tomatoes. And uh, this is just from a can. If I'm going out camping, I'll be using uh, a small plastic bag and I'll take according to the portions in that bag. It doesn't go bad on you for days. Then I have my homemade uh, curry mix here. I've got some coconut milk and I got this handy little bag of rice. Perfect for one person if you're just doing a simple dish, but like this where we also got the uh, tomatoes and we got the chicken and it actually fits quite nicely for two persons. Then we got some coconut oil to um, fry it in and coconut oil is homemade. If you want to know how to do that, go back and take a look at my YouTube channel and you'll find a video of how to make coconut home at home. That is very, very easy. And if it is needed, we will also have a little bit of salt. But let's get this started here. And as traditions dictate, we will always be doing this camping style because all the food I do, all the experiments I do with cooking is about how to do this when I'm out on my trips and making sure that I can also be eating well and nice and good even though I don't have a refrigerator. So this is Obviously coconut oil, coconut oil, because it tastes good, 
but also because we are after all doing a dish with coconut milk so just to make it all add up first gotta heat this up a little bit then I'll take my chicken pieces here like this And I just want to fry them up a little bit before we get on with it. But at this stage, I also like to add some of the powder here to give the chicken pieces some flavor. Mm. It doesn't take many seconds for this to smell really good. Now this is going to be cooking in the tomato sauce as well. So there's no reason to really give it a thorough cook here. I just like to give it an initial cooking a little bit. And also to get the spices fried up a little bit here. Kind of enhances the flavors a bit. All right, time to peel diced tomatoes add that to the mix here give that a stir and then I'd like to add a bit more of this spice now as you can see it's just gauging it by eye but I would say a good spoonful is a decent amount if you want to know what curry mix I'm making here, I can make a little video of how I'm doing that. But leave me a comment in the comment section if that has interest. What I really like about this dish here is that once it's done, you have these got quite a good solid mouthfuls of tomatoes and you got some good chickens in it and it's extremely flavorful. And uh, combine it with the rice, you get a very solid meal and though most of the time I'm out on my own and as such I will have to be cooking for myself then this is actually a, a good meal for two persons and it's quite difficult to make it smaller than that actually all right I will let uh, this simmer for uh, five seven minutes and then I'll come back to it. All right. It has now been cooking for five, seven minutes, just to make sure that the chicken becomes better. And it smells fantastic, I can tell you that much, guys. Really, really, really nice. And that's what's important for me when I'm out on my trips. It's not just to get the sufficient amount of calories and nutrients and vitamins and whatnot is not needed when I'm out there. It also has to taste good. So what I like to do, add the rice. Let them soak up a little bit of all that flavor before we add the coconut milk just a little bit so it's already getting a bit more dry the whole dish here because of it okay and then final bit it's a coconut milk here If you want to know how to make your own coconut milk, not particularly interesting if you do not have access to good coconuts, but then it is at the same video where I'm showing how to make coconut oil. Part of the process is to make coconut milk, so you can go take a look there. But now all you gotta do is just give this a good stir, 
and then we will give it 15-20 uh, minutes and we should have our dinner ready oh and we even got the thunder coming now fantastic it's been about 20 15 minutes and we're getting there mm. I can tell you that it smells fantastic absolutely brilliant and it is as you see in terms of work it's very little work if you're using fresh chicken it is I don't know maybe five minutes of work ten minutes of work tops the total dish time to time to make the dish takes about a half an hour it's something you can do on camping trips and you'll have a meal that you will be looking forward to definitely so let me just get Taste it here. Hmm. Definitely made my curry mix a bit to the spicy side this time. I like it. But a little bit of salt could do. The curry mix does not contain any salt. So Can you hear the rain? I love rain. Do not like to be wet particularly, especially not if it's cold, but sitting under your tarp, your hammock, cooking, listening to the rain. Oh man. That's why I had this little shelter made in my garden. It kind of takes the edge, this urge, this itch to get out camping and hiking every now and then it's good enough just to get out in the garden under the top listening to the rain do a little bit of cooking and uh, you can make a few more days without the cravings for hiking and camping outside anyway I think it is time to to eat yeah perfect look at that and we kind of have all the liquids absorbed in rice Really sweet. Let's just turn off the gas. Let's see how it tastes. I love curry. I love curry in all sorts of versions. And one of the next, one of the soon upcoming videos, anyway, is going to be a very interesting dish. I have not yet made it. Uh, I'm not 100% sure how I'm going to make it because I want to make something similar to this. The theme when I'm doing the cooking is always about how can we do this when we go camping and how can we do that without having to use too many utensils and without having too many pots and pans but do the single pot kind of thing. But I want to do it what here in Northern Thailand called the Geng Hang Lei and that's a northern dish of curry and normally it is with very very um, tender pork but obviously the tender pork bit is not going to happen but I like the flavor, I like the taste, it's a really fantastic dish and I like to see if I can do that in a camping style but more about that when we get there mm. Mm. it's just fantastic if you have never tried to make a dish with your own freshly made curry I can highly recommend that it's just it's a totally different world the curry you buy in the shops is very bland and the fact is a good blend of curry that you have roasted yourself and you have blended yourself it will only last and be good for about two weeks and then you've got to make some new because it kind of loses its strength and this is brand new curry I just made it today for this video and it is fantastic the chicken as it was 100% fresh but like I said it is one week short of being one year old love it until next time stay both hungry and curious <laughs>